it's Take Control Tuesdays! Where you learn how to take control of your diet, take control of your weight, and your health. Hey, it's Trisha Manis here, and I want to explain to you how you can eat healthy anywhere. And I'm going to use the last few days of my holiday travels as an example. So, Thanksgiving Day, I was in an airport. Definitely, totally okay, because I was on my way to go see family and just left beautiful other family, so I'm definitely okay. But the only place I could eat was a Sherry's restaurant. So my options were a little limited there, as yours may be, but just because you're traveling or at a restaurant is not an excuse to completely blow eating a very healthy plant-based diet. You can eat healthy anywhere. So what did I get? I ended up getting a veggie burger, skip the cheese, skip the dairy, skip the mayo, and got a side salad, and they didn't have any non-oily dressing, so that time I just ate it dry and because it was earlier in the day I knew I was going to be hungry later and my options were severely limited at the hotel and they were really expensive so I ordered another veggie burger and salad to go. So next day I wake up at 3.30 in the morning at the airport by 5 o'clock in the morning, 4.45 in the morning and I needed to eat some breakfast so what did this healthy plant eating girl do? Well, my options were one restaurant where everything was about bacon and eggs, or there was a little cafe, and they had bagels. So I ended up getting a dry bagel. They didn't have jelly, and all they had was butter or cream cheese, so I skipped that and bought a little container of mixed fruit. So I ate a fruit cup too, and then I also bought an Adwala bar for the plane ride because I knew there was a chance that I would get hungry as well. And they also had little to-go containers of oatmeal that also would have been an option. So did I completely blow it and go for fried potato and eggs? Absolutely not. Next I land in Chicago from Oregon en route to New York. So I had about 50 minutes in between my flights and you bet I made sure I got some more food in my belly because when I do not eat, I'm a cranky, cranky woman. So I went to a salad work. So you could pick any type of salad. So I got a mixed green salad and then you could have five different toppings on top. So I chose garbanzo beans, white beans, green beans, pasta, olives and carrots on there. Now, the beans and the pasta and the green beans, these were strategic picks. Why? Because we know lettuce is not very filling at all. So if I would've just got a salad with lettuce and typical green and yellow vegetables, I would've been really hungry in about 30, 45 minutes. So I made sure there are lots of more filling plant foods on there, like the beans and the green beans and the pasta. That way, I wouldn't be a cranky monster when I first saw my mom and my family in New York. Okay, I land in New York and we need to go eat. We need to celebrate. We haven't seen each other in over a year. So my family and I and my extended family, we go for Mexican. Yay, Mexican. So am I going to blow the diet again? No way. Chips and salsa are typically served at the beginning of the meal as they were then, so everyone's munching down and I do not want to eat tortilla chips. These have been the death of me. One of the hardest foods for me to kick have been tortilla chips. They're so salty and fatty and addictive and once you just eat one, it's really hard to stop for me. So, although I was really hungry, I did not want to eat these, so what did I do? I ordered plain tortillas that haven't been fried, that are just steamed to be heated up, and I ordered a side of guacamole. So when I got them, in the beginning as everyone's eating chips and salsa, I put some salsa and some avocado and rolled it up and ooh, that soothed my belly until the main course arrived, which was, I got a vegetarian burrito. So it was a bunch of mixed veggies, no dairy, no cheese, no sour cream with a side of rice and black beans. And it was delicious.
Did I blow the diet while I was traveling and going through all of this? No, absolutely not. Did I not eat as perfectly as I would have at home? Yes, that's correct. So this is another reason why it's so important that you eat really well at home and you get the junk out of your house. There's no tortilla chips in my house and there shouldn't be in yours either. So get the junk out and the things you shouldn't eat and stock your kitchen with really healthy food. So this way when you're at home and you're eating really well on a regular basis that when you go travel or when you go somewhere else, which happens a lot, that you're not completely off the diet because it's all about the totality of your dietary pattern, what happens over the long term. So in my house, I eat about 95% plant perfect, as you can say. I eat exceptionally well. So that way when I'm at the airport or at a restaurant, I'm eating some refined grains and I'm eating some oil, but I'm eating the diet about 75, 80 to 85%, so it's not that huge of a deal. I didn't totally crash and throw my hands up and just start eating a bunch of cake and just completely going off of it. So I hope this inspired you and was reinforcement for you too to one, eat really well in your house, and then two, when you do travel, to know that there's always a healthy option that you can pick. Now it's time to hear from you. Answer today's Take Control Now question and put your answers in the comment section below this video. Have you let yourself eat not so well when you were traveling? Did you let traveling be an excuse for not eating healthy? If so, I want to hear about it. Or if you have a triumphant story about how you stuck to your plant-based diet while you were traveling, I'd love to hear about that too. If you like this video, which I really hope that you did, please show me some love by clicking the like button or sharing it with your friends. Or better yet, come to TrishAmandas.com because when you sign up for free weekly email updates, which are awesome, then you get an automatic weight loss resource guide sent directly to your inbox that gives you the best movies, recipe websites, books to read about achieving permanent weight loss and optimal health. Thanks so much for watching today's episode of Take Control Tuesdays. Get educated, get support, and take control. Yes, you can. You can get the healthy body you deserve.